Boy, Anthony must have really gotten under your collar. Admit it. You're looking at the crackers Coyone for putting you in here. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And I'm playing shortstop for the Mets. We want Johnny Sack. But more than him, we want Mangano and Teresi. I want to fuck Angie Dickinson. See who gets lucky first. You were gone a long time. How many White Castle did you have? I didn't, I swear. I can smell them. A Chinaman goes to, uh, to see the eye doctor. After the exam, the doctor says, I know why you're having trouble. The Chinaman says, why? The doctor says, you have a cataract. The Chinaman says, no, I have a rink in Continental. You don't get it? I get it. He drives a Lincoln. What? Sad day. Mm hmm Kid was always a dumb fuck, though, wasn't he? Didn't he almost drown in three inches of water? The penguin exhibit. You're not sick. But testing shows REM-wise you have 40 arousals per hour. More since I met you. Such a thing to say. Arousals mean a change in your stages of sleep. You are such a flirt. Why didn't you just call a plumber? With what? My fucking toes? I've been busy. Are you all right? Oh, Doc, don't bullshit a bullshitter. Is this shit gonna work? Or should we go back in the room? You got a top guy here. Him? Guy I'd go see if I needed to. I'll be a son of a bitch. Fucking house arrest. <sighs> Federal marshals are so far up my ass, I can taste brill cream. What are you saying? I got another uncle? Sharp as a fucking cue ball. Yeah, I'm saying. Sam. Junior Soprano. Here you go, sir. Go shit in your hat. Uncle June, stop! Thank you, officers. Thank you. Outlined how accounting what the fuck? What, what kind of likeness is that? If they were great artists, they'd be in a museum. I'm fucking fodder for cartoonists now? Located at 8721 Whalen Avenue in Paramus, would testify that post office box number 206 was registered to and paid for by when Ira E. Barad, who resides at 43 Bellingham Boulevard, apartment 4B, Paramus, New Jersey, and was initially rented by Ira E. Barad on September 16th, 1998, with a payment of... He thumbs his nose at New York. Oh, what are you gonna do? He's part of a whole generation. You remember the crazy hair? And the dope? Now it's fags in the military. Stop it, Junior. You're making me very upset. I don't like to, Olivia, but I'm all argued all the time. Not to hurt anyone. God forbid I get in the way of someone earning. Let's say one and a half on a shy business and 300 on a back tax. 250. What'd I tell you? Hold on to your cock when you negotiate with these desert people. <laughs> 250. Corrado, don't you have nothing? You can make a hand, turkey. For Christmas? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Here he is. I fucking had it. But what? Everything. Did you offer my nephew something? I'm ready to yours. Not made. Did you offer him an aspirin? Cunt. You hear about the Chinese godfather? He made them an offer they couldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you're getting better. That's the important thing. You look better, too. If you're gonna lie to me, tell me there's a broad waiting in the car who wants to tongue my balls. Fuck you! Fuck you. Fuck you! I thought you were gonna ask my advice about Ralph Cifaretto. <sighs> Got any thoughts? What else do I have left? Mr. Soprano, I'm Michael McLuhan from the U.S. Marshal Service, here to reattach your electronic bracelet. They give you the important jobs, huh? Guy comes home with a bouquet of flowers for his wife. I guess I'll have to spread my legs now, she says. 
Why, he asked. Don't you have a vase? Look at your favorite Santa Barbara album. Leave me to fuck alone. 